PSA greater return number nine technically means we're 60% of the way there and we're going to start getting into your boy's favorite era. But before we do, let's roll that intro. <laughs> Hey Gengar gang, what is going on? My name is Ryan, this is the Analytic Gengar, and welcome to another video. In today's video, friends, PSA Greater Returns. Let's get right on into it as I remind you all gently that the PSA Greater Return playlist will be down below for your reference. Obviously, uh, number nine implies that there are eight that have come in sequence before this, so I definitely recommend you go check those out if you haven't already. Also, go check out the playlist since there's tons more where that came from, and I certainly think it can be... Uh, a good thing for you to, oh, I don't know, binge watch, you know, so just something for you to consider. And of course, if you think I deserve it, feel free to leave a like on the video. And hey, if you're already enjoying the content, never hurts to subscribe, join the Gengar gang and join our happy little ever growing community. But with all that said, friends, PSA greater returns. Uh, let's see what this box is, because it's like literally in like the weird mid range of the card. So I have no clue what any of this is. Um, okay, I stand corrected. Uh, we have a Electabuzz reverse foil, so that's good. Uh, Electabuzz, super dope Pokemon card, really dope artwork on this card. Again, I've commented multiple times now how Expedition is one of my favorite sets in terms of artwork, and the fact that it doesn't get the same hype as, uh, you know, sets like Sky Ridge is perhaps a bit tragic, but also provides or presents a great opportunity for you to pick some of these cards up at still relatively reasonable com prices, at least compared to some of its contemporary E-Series sets. Here's a Weezing that got a Gem Mint 10. Um, I've gotten quite a few of these Expedition reverse foils as Gem Mint 10s, and it's just hilarious to me because multiple times now I've gotten these cards and I'm just like, how did you survive the process of grading, shipping, blah, 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 like likely, you know, from a couple of decades ago now, and yet somehow many of these cards are getting nines and tens. I think that goes to speak to the overall condition of the person who was maintaining those. Of course, not to be underdone, occasionally we will get a near mint eight, and that's quite all right too. Uh, here is a Venusaur nine holographic it is a rare card so uh it is interesting to note that uh back in the e-series days there were rare cards that got the non-hollow treatment as well um and then there were some that did get the hollow treatment and you know things of that nature now here is another one of my favorite cards from the submission this is a tyranitar from expedition now again there are many tyranitars in the tcg some of which get more hype than others here is probably one of the more understated Tyranitars, but a couple things to note. One, PSA 9. Two, something that I really like is the swirl that exists right there, so that is super fire. And three, I think one of the most interesting things about this card is that it pays homage to the inspiration for a Tyranitar, which is Godzilla. So believe it or not, um, Godzilla is one of the major influences on why Tyranitar was created as a Pokemon. And um, if you notice, the holographic pattern is in its eye. So I think that is just a super fire card for that reason. Like, it looks like a legendary monster. And I mean, it's obviously a pseudo legendary from Generation 2. But I really think um, that the illustrator on this card, uh, Kimia Masago, uh, right down here, really did a great job of sort of capturing the original inspiration for the Pokemon. So just something that I thought was really neat, something that I definitely have uh, come to appreciate about that card a little bit more. Uh, and in case you were thinking I was a conspiracy theorist, here's a PSA 9. And notice, no eyeball. It, it literally looks like a glowing eyed monster. So that's, you know, again, hats off to the illustrator for really capturing the inspiration of the Pokemon so very well. Here's a Typhlosion. Uh, Typhlosion is one of those Pokemon I distinctly remember playing through like Heart Gold and Soul Silver with it. So it always is a Pokemon card that I look forward to seeing, or a Pokemon that I look forward to seeing on any Pokemon card. Um, here is a PSA 9 of the same. So sequential certs 8 and 9. That's ter not a terrible thing to have happen. Uh, moving right along we have another nine. So here's, here's where I started pushing my luck. I was hoping that I would get, uh, 
you know, an eight, a nine, and a 10. And I distinctly remember looking at these three cards and kind of weighing them. Uh, what I noticed is that this one was by far the best, but it did have two little divots. So I thought maybe if I kind of order them the right way, maybe just maybe I'll, you know, be able to like, uh, get some kind of cool sequential like eight, nine, 10 or seven, eight, nine going, but I got two nines and an eight. Uh, here, however, is a Rapid Ash that did get a PSA 10. Again, goes to that point I was talking about earlier. Very, very, very apparent that many of these cards were kept very well. Much like the Ponyta that I know has been in one of the PSA Greater Return videos at this point, uh, what I love about this card is the contrast. So you're getting blue skies, green grass, like this brownish rock pattern, and then red for the Pokemon card itself. It, it gives a very nice overall palette to the card that I think a lot of Pokemon cards can miss every once in a while. Uh, I do have a sequential eight, uh, 9 and 10, so that's pretty dope. Again, both reverse foil, but uh, definitely something that I really like, especially when it happens that way. Here is an 8. So, fun fact, I do have a 8, a 9, and a 10. So basically what I was hoping for the Typhlosion, I got with the Rapidash. So that's pretty dope. Moving right along, uh, I do have a Meganium PSA 9. So again, I've seen this card at least once in one of the videos that I recorded. So, you know, the only comment I have is really excellent contrast. I love Meganium as a Pokemon. I think it's just such a very, like, beautiful grass type Pokemon, which I'm sure is the aesthetic they were going for. Here is a Nine Tails. Here's one of the cards from the Expedition set that I genuinely really like. And the reason I really like it is because I know for a fact that it's a very understated card. There's a little bamboo forest and it's just chilling in the forest, hanging out. Again, if you're looking at it purely from the perspective of contrast, Ninetales is like a yellow whitish type Pokemon. That's the color of its fur. And so it's not like red because it's fire, right? So it's a fox Pokemon. And what I think is really nice is that you get a nice amount of contrast. And then bear in mind, the entire card itself is red because it's a fire type Pokemon. So you get a really nice palette of colors there. And I think that's one of the things that I really want to stress, especially when I'm trying to articulate to people why it is you should really kind of focus in on the artwork that Pokemon cards have. Um, and this is one of those really good examples, right? You, you, you get so many colors and you can really kind of appreciate the artwork. And don't forget, each and every single one of these cards, right? All, I don't know, probably thousands of them at this point, is something someone or some team of people put together. So each of these can tell its own little story. And I think that is so, such an underrated part of our hobby still because a lot of people get into it for the nostalgia or the value, but forget about just the artwork that sometimes we hold in our hands and oftentimes overlook. So that is a PSA 9, as well as my lecture on classical Pokemon theory. And here is a PSA 10, babes. So I got a 9 and a 10. Sequentially, it's 10, 9, so that's kind of annoying. But whatever the case might be, there's also a swirl on this one. So also in love with that. Um, and I have submitted quite a few of those in the past, so I'm happy one finally came back at 10. Here's a reverse of the same card. Uh, so, you know, again, very much more of the same, but really pretty card nonetheless. That got a PSA 9. Here's another PSA 9. So uh, a bunch of quote unquote cannon fodder, if you will say so, because, you know, the, the reverse PSA 9, I feel like it's a rather obscure market. I feel like if you see it up for sale on like PWCC, you might bid for it. But, um, you know, definitely one of those things. I don't quite know how many folks are going out of their way to collect these. Here is another PSA 9, though. So in case you were curious uh, about how many dupes I have, I certainly do have dupes. And then finally, but not least, in today's video, my luck with starter Pokemon from Expedition Getting them back as reverse foils is back, baby. I got a Feraligator reverse foil from Expedition, PSA 10. This is the uh, lesser of the two, uh, in my personal opinion. There are two Feraligators that I, that I can remember at this point. Um, here's the other one. And this one is obviously a little bit more CGI, a little bit more, you know, hey, here's a Pokemon coming out of the Pokeball type vibes. Uh, so definitely not my personal favorite. However, what I do note for Alligator is usually a very fan favorite Pokemon and certainly a Gem Mint 10 never hurts on top of that. A lot of things could have gone wrong on this card. So super happy they didn't and super happy that it got the grade that it did. 
Um, there is, yeah, just a, you know, enough on this card that, again, eye appeal is the main thing for PSA 10s. If you were going for perfect cards, you should have gone to Beckett because PSA 10s, the primary driver behind them is overall eye appeal. And that's what really helps dictate a PSA 10 and separates it from a PSA 9 or even a Beckett 10, right? With all that said, friends, thanks again for checking out another video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, feel free to leave a like on the video. And hey, subscribe to the channel if you're not already to join our ever growing happy little community. But other than that, friends, thanks again for checking out another video. Leave a like for Feraligator and Typhlosion and Rapidash and the multiple Ninetales. And uh, yeah, we will talk soon. Peace. Mm -hmm.